So I'm Yanir Aryev. I'm a customer success director for Blue White. I've been with the company for five years now. We're an Israeli-based company. We've been in the market for five years. And we develop off-the-market kits for tractors and retrofit them to become autonomous tractors. So our technology is based on a fusion of sensors and uh, a mechanical kit. We develop the software and the hardware integration in-house. We take off-the-shelf components such as LiDAR, cameras, GNSS systems, and we integrate them into an off-the-market kit that turns regular tractors to autonomous. So that means that you can work on pretty much every brand? That's correct. We keep the flexibility to work on any type of tractor, any model, any brand, any color. A technology? Of course. So this is one of our retrofitted tractors. As you can see, we try to overlay our equipment as smooth as possible on top of the tractor. This is a John Deere 5115M. This is our LiDAR sensor. We have our cameras scattered around the tractor. We have three in total. We have our communication antennas and communication module on the back, our safety bumper in the front, some equipment that goes on the axle to give us precision when driving. Everything inside is basically as smooth as it can be, where you basically almost cannot see our equipment. But we have our steering system, actuations, all the electronics are laid on beneath, um, underneath the plastics. We have our control boxes, calibration screen, um, our emergency stop buttons right here to kill the tractor in the case of an emergency, and other cameras that give us a back perspective of the uh, operation. And as you can see, we, we do different implements. So this is a brush for the vineyards. That's the time of day where the, the farmers are running it to clean up the vines, prepare it for pre-emergent. And it's just as simple as it can get. And you get full control and full ability to run any applications you'd like. Super high precision, redundancy based on LiDAR cameras, GNSS and RTK. And this is our system. So we have a remote platform that controls all of our tractors as a fleet. Everything is being done remotely through the software, the calibration of the tractor, the setup of the tractor. All you really have to do is to start a tractor, go back to that control station. It could be in the truck, in an office, in the shop, wherever you would like it to be. The calibration, the setup, and the application is managed through that remote platform, and it manages the whole fleet of tractors for that client. All right, thank you. Do it uh, in machine. Right. So... Basically, the way we put it out is everything that is on the back, either hydraulic controlled, PTO controlled, and doesn't require an ongoing supervision of a person. For example, pruning is a very complex application where the driver also operates the machine nonstop as it goes. But brushes, sprayers, mowers, discs, these are all machines that go up and down. They constantly run. They stop at the end of the row. We can control all these family of um, implements when they fall under the umbrella of PTO, hydraulics, and three-point hitch. So you well, Israel is a great test site. We have our crops, we have our fields, but the market is in California and in the U.S. and across the world. We have different crops, we have large acreage, and we came here as soon as we felt that the product is mature enough for scale. Duration. So we have more than 50 machines out today. We have our assembly line booked all the way through the end of 2023. We're going to start operating outside of California mid-2023, and we're expecting to have more than 100 units by mid-2023. So we give them the flexibility to keep their used equipment, and they, that way we save them on having to buy new equipment. That's first. We allow them the flexibility to operate different implements and not just one very specific implement. And so... We help them save on the capital expenses and also on the operational expenses by having them use less labor, higher precision within the same equipment. So the first step is to give us your tractors. We take the, either the existing tractors or we buy new ones with the farmers. The retrofit process takes between a week or two and once the tractors are back, they get autonomous tractors. We do a mutual process to fit a tractor to works to work the best and to maximize the operational hours off of the tractors. And that way we increase the return on investment and the utilization of the equipment. So we give it as a, as a service. We do a robot as a service model where the equipment is operated by our team until we hand it off to the clients. So there's one time installation fee and then there's an ongoing subscription fee for utilizing the equipment and the maintenance. 
Yes, of course. So we did not promise to have eternal investment on E1. The cost of the installation plus the service is less than a, what a driver cost per year. And so every year afterwards is close to the 50% uh, return on investment on the system. We talk, we talk about less than $10,000 per quarter. We believe that our experience and know-how that we bring to the table gives us the competitive advantage over other companies. We believe that clients should have the flexibility to pick the color of their tractor and the type of equipment they can utilize using the autonomous system. And so by that, we believe we create more value and more impact for them utilizing our system over other systems. Well, I think it's about expanding the operational hours and utilization of the machines. We, we want to expand our applications. We want to allow our customers to increase their utilization work, more shifts, more days, having less people way, within way less effort. Do way more with way less. We are, and we're learning all the time, and we're having conversation with everyone, even the competition. And you know, even on the regula regulatory aspects of things, we want to be able to tackle regulation as a group and not as a company, because it's a bigger purpose than just us being a company tackling regulation. So there's always the conversation, but we still are blue-white and we're maintaining ourselves as blue-white with our competitive edge. Yeah, we believe the freedom is not ours, it's the, it's the clients, right? They have different, you know, you can look at this yard and you'll see that they have different tractors, different models, different colors, different equipment. And we want to allow them that freedom because we don't want to limit them.